this morning. Um, like always, I'm usually the first one at the 13 fishing booth in the morning. But uh, what I want to do today is I want to walk through a few booths. I want to show you guys some new products, some product that people got out from sponsors, from non-sponsors. Just going to go around and kind of just go into booths. And if you're not interested in the in the in the company's products that I'm I'm dealing with, just you know you don't have to watch this video. But here we go. Let me clean my lens off a little bit. I saw a little bit of a blur. All right, so we're at the 13 fishing booth. <clears throat> These you guys know I've been with 13 fishing for shoot five years, five and a half years. So good morning, David. How you doing, man? Steven, Guthrie, what's going on? We're gonna look at 13 fishing's new products. We're gonna look at some of the uh, stuff that they introduced last year that we didn't get to see a whole lot of because of uh, COVID. So let's get the ball rolling. I'm gonna flip this around, show you a few things. This is their their high end rod. Okay, this is their 400 something dollar rod but it's the new Omen. Actually, no, this is their new one, sorry. This is the Omen Gold. They've got some new bluegill rods that are absolutely sweet. But this one right here, this is the Envy Black. It's got the, the best cork I have ever felt on a grip. But this is like high-end stuff, 400 something, $450. But honestly, I think it's the best rod that Ricky, their rod designer, has ever designed and the, and they're going with these i can't remember who makes these things um gosh almighty but they're, they're for right now they're going with these hook keepers because there's so many people like like me who there's different places i want hook keepers depending on what i'm fishing and they just got to the point where man if we're going to make a rod that's really really good we want people to be able to put their hook keeper in the right place so these are you know they're not cheap these are the good ones but uh but that's what they started doing anyway so i don't know whether i agree with it or not but it, it'd be it'd work for me it really would but i'm not going to have any of those rods that's out of my price point um the fuse carbon this is another really good high-end rod there's only two of them they make i'm not going to really cover much of that but this is the one i'm the most excited about you guys remember the old blackout rod from number eight tackle well number eight tackle some a lot of people still don't know that that was part of 13 fishing they dissolved that company and now they're coming back out with the blackout and this rod let me pull a bait caster out this medium heavy bait caster this rod right here it's a totally different rod than the blackout it's got a new blank which is a higher quality blank than the blackout did four years ago it's got the the skeleton reel seat um, to, to decrease the weight and to also give you more sensitivity. It's got the really good hook keeper that's a snagless hook keeper. Just a really good rod. Brand new guides. These are Fuji guides. Um, and so they really went all out with this rod, but it's still, I think it's $79.99 is still the price point. Same price point as it was five, uh, four years ago. So just with better stuff. Big thing this year is new combos. Um, these are 100 and don't quote me, but 120, maybe 125 dollar combos. Um, the the bright green ones are called the uh, radioactive pickles. These are called just radioactive. Uh, these are the Fate V3s from last year that have, uh, because of COVID, been really difficult to find. Um, I told 13, I was like, look, when this show is over, y'all gonna have to catch me because I'm grabbing every one of these rods and I'm running out the door. <laughs> so. That's been the ongoing joke for this week. But uh, here's your omens from last year, omen kayak rods. Uh, for you guys who, uh, who love to kayak, these are really, really good rods. I think the only one that I would not personally, and they probably don't want me to say this, but personally get was the, is the heavy ones with that short handle. You need a longer handle with the heavy rods is what I found. So they probably don't want me to say that. But anyway, the Muse, the Defy, and the Rely. So those are the ones that, uh, that uh these are all the new ones those are the ones from last year the ones that uh, uh are um are still for sale on their catalog so go real quick we're going to run that around the reels and then hey walton how you doing man we're going to run through their reels and then we're going to go through their baits and uh just a couple of new baits this year so bear with me the concepts this is their new inshore they've upgraded everything um it's a saltwater reel. They have really made this thing bulletproof. It's amazing uh, from what I've heard them talk about. I haven't used one or anything else, but uh, I'm impressed with how hard they work to make this thing completely bulletproof. Uh, the Concept C's, you guys know I love these. It is the lightest reel 13 has ever made. Um, 
Yeah, dude, I'm excited about the blackout, believe me. Um, the Z slide, which is, is, is slowly becoming one of my favorite reels uh, for most of my, uh, my bottom bouncing techniques, my jigs, my Texas rigs, that kind of stuff. So good morning, fishing after the dark. How you doing? Um, concept A2s. Uh, these are the ones that last year Matt made, made as bulletproof as, as he could. Made channels for water to escape the reel if you got it wet. Made, I mean, just did a whole bunch of stuff to this reel to make it to where it was a lot more um, durable, you know. So it could survive me. It could survive Dave Lefebvre and those of us who fish, you know, 250, 250 days a year. And so that's why they made that. All right, so here's the new spinning reels. All right, so these are the Kalons. Um, and their price point, uh, well, in the industry, we call them price point fishing reels. 59, 65, and 75. So this one right here, and they're good solid reels. So $59. Um, the, the blackout reel, which matches the blackout rod, this one's $65 or $64.99. And then their better one, and this one is amazing, as in the quality and the, and the build. Um, it, it far exceeds its price point. It is a $70 reel, $69.99. And it is the Kalon, um, what are they calling it? Holy crap, I can never can remember. The Kalon C is what they're calling that. So. We'll go zip right around, right on around. These are their older spinning reels. They'll slowly be phased out the sources. Uh, there's the Inception, their $120 bulletproof reel. And then we get over to the new uh, price point bait casters. Now, I wasn't so sure about these. You guys know I don't, uh, I don't believe that anything under any bait caster under $60 is going to be any good. And it's the same point, same way with these. These these right here, uh, these right here are 60 bucks. And they feel to me, and I'm all about feel when I pick up a reel and never used it before, they feel to me like about an $80, $85 reel. Like, well, I don't even know what to compare it to really. But the difference in all of these reels is they now have a magnetic brake system so you can adjust the brakes without taking the side plate off. Uh, the handle's a little bit shorter, which I'm gonna have to get used to, but I'm gonna start using these. These are, are really good. The ones that impress me most are, of course, these right here. These are, I, I'm not gonna give you a price because I don't know off the top of my head, but they're like $75, $80, something like that. They're not much at all. And these are their, their best new reel. This is the high, their highest priced new reel. And it is the F1, the Origin F1. And entry level, yes, but I the way they feel like they're going to work and stuff like that it really feels like feels like one of those that are going to last you for years and you're going to be happy that you only spent like 70 70 80 dollars on it the blackout one same thing if you notice they're smaller too they're smaller than 13 reels they're a lot smaller in your hand some people like that some don't i'm not too sure i'll put it on a rod and play around with it but uh the grips are great i'm just excited about these but i, I haven't put them on, on a rod so i don't know much about them but they feel really, really, really good. So, uh, run over to the baits real quick. I know you guys love this. The motorboat, the jerk, the squirm, which is what I'm using right now to catch giants. Um, some of their swim baits. That's my favorite swimming worm, the joystick. Uh, the BFF. This is their new soft plastic. They only came out with one soft plastic this year called the lunch bug it's a flipping jig trailer a lot of action the kind i'd use in the summertime and then uh that's salt water stuff that's not that's a uh, i don't talk much about that <laughs> those are good good swim baits but they're uh yeah they take a 12 watt owner it's amazing so these are the price these are all 6.99 all these baits right here all the baits with that funky little eye right there those are all $6.99 baits. And so the Gordito is amazing. Um, I finally am going to be able to sit down and order a bunch of these. Uh, we found out that my account on the website was jacked up, and that's why I haven't been able to order any of these. Uh, craziness. But anyway, uh, the Flatty Daddy, which is their flat side. Uh, jerk baits, which I don't fish a whole lot of, but uh, the Whipper Snapper. The Dual Pitch is a really good, that's, that one's not a, a, a $6.99 bait. But uh, the Poppy Pop Face, Glidesdale is a $20 bait. 
and here's their walking bait, this $6.99. It's a Navigator, which is a really good one. I, I've only played around with this one. I don't have any. I'm, I played around with an old prototype. But these are the baits that I tested and that I helped design and that um, my, my name is all over these. It's amazing. So the old the uh, Warthog is a really, really good search bait. It's kind of like the, um, the Wiggle Warts a little bit. It's just got the same style action. Anyway. But that's it for 13. This is a, th if you guys want to fish the shad spawn, goodness gracious, that's what you want to use. The trash panda, which we'll talk more about in another video coming up here shortly. And here's the other new bait, the, the deep jabber jaw. So you got the regular jabber jaw that dives uh, three to five feet. This one drives five to eight feet, which I'm really excited about because there's many times I've been throwing this. I'm like, man, I wish I could get it to go deeper. And now we can, so. That's pretty cool. So that's it from 13. I'm gonna walk around. I, I, this is my walk around day. I'm, I'm, most of my meetings are done. So I'm gonna uh, try to get you guys as much information about products. Uh, coming up would be, I'm gonna go to the Spro booth and I'm gonna show you the new frogs. I think this little bitty teeny tiny frog that I'm, I'm excited about. I don't even know what rod to throw it on, but it's a cool little frog. They got a bunch of other stuff that I'm gonna show you. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm just going to kind of give, give you guys what I think you want, and hopefully you like it. So like I always say, be sure to introduce somebody to fishing. Introduce them to my channel. Let me help you teach them how to fish. More importantly, get out on the water, go out and catch some fish, and have a great day. We'll see you.